from Libya to Malta and you can see that the passenger door is open uh, and that there are steps going up to the door. We heard a little earlier from the editor of the Times of Malta that he had heard that there may have been during negotiations an agreement for some passengers to be let out and I think you can see some passengers in the doorway and somebody coming down the steps. Obviously we're at some distance and only able to see through the trees. This is a, an Airlines, an Afrikia Airlines plane that was on an internal Libyan flight uh, but then diverted to Malta. It was said to have been hijacked by two men. Two men reportedly with, with grenades and I think you can see through the leaves there more people coming down the steps and clearly quite a lot of noise and commotion going on as it's happening. But clearly some movement there now on that plane that has been at Malta Airport for several hours now. It looks as if there might be some staff from the airport there in the Maltese capital. Uh, they're at the bottom of the steps, clearly waiting to receive people who've come off. We know that there are 111 passengers on board, plus the plane's crew, mostly men, some women, and we were told one infant. And that, in fact, was from information that was tweeted by the country's Prime Minister, Joseph Muscat. The plane is an Airbus A320 belonging to, as you, you can see, Afrikia Airlines. It was an, on an internal domestic Libyan flight and then was diverted to Malta earlier this morning. So it does look as if there are more people coming down. Uh, we've just uh, lost that picture for a moment, but you can see now a different image. Oh, there we are uh, from a slightly uh, further away, but clearly people coming out, going down the stairs. So they'll have had quite, a, quite an ordeal. Right, well, we will, of course, be bringing you much more on that story. Uh, as soon as we get it, but clearly a moving story right now there with that, uh, that hijacked plane.